Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ngozi Adeleye, founder Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will show you how you can compute five-year averages to mitigate missing values. We all know that missing values can be problematic if not taken care of properly. You can have missing values whether you are working with cross-sectional data, time series data, or a panel data. Missing values can also arise due to non-response from cohorts. It can arise from omitted data entries or during data collision. Missing values can affect statistical analysis. It can affect your results and the overall validity of the data. There are several ways to deal with the problems of missing values. Some of them are computing averages, using data interpolation, multiple imputation, or the full information maximum likelihood approach. However, these methods will depend on the pattern of the missing values. For this video tutorial, I will be using the five-year averages to mitigate missing values. Because I'm well aware that inequality data are often problematic with several missing values, I'm using the UniWider data set for this video. The UniWider data set on income inequality is from 1950 to 2019, but I am using the abridged data set, so I have restricted the starting year to 1980. The data set has a total of 215 countries with several indicators, but I'm restricting this video tutorial to only three indicators, Gini index, PAMA ratio, and GDP per capita. I also created categories for the countries. I categorize the countries into regions and into income groups. I will be providing this data set at the do file for replication. For any of you who are interested, click on the link in the video description to get the data which is hosted on my ResearchGate account. The data set and the do file are both hosted on my ResearchGate account. First of all, let me show you the underlying data in Excel. This is it. Start with Afghanistan and the 215th country is Zimbabwe, okay? So now let's go to Stata and I'm going to import this file into Stata. So I go to File, Import. I click on Excel Spreadsheet. Then I click on Browse to locate where the file is. Make sure you always check this box that says Import first row as variable names. I check that, I click OK. Then I bring in the do file. I have it already. So here's the do file with all the codes I'm going to be using. Again, this do file will be made available to you if you are interested. For us to know how the underlying data set looks like, I will execute the browse command. So this is the data set. Due to the way I deleted some uh, variables from the Excel file, you can see the columns here, J to X, are having several missing observations dots. So all I need to do is just to clean this, okay? So I'm going to use the drop command to clean those. So I go back to Stata, and I just type drop, okay? Then I come here, and I just select all the variables I want to drop. This is not part of the video, but it's a bonus. So if you don't know how to drop a variable, this is it. But be careful how to use the drop command. Once you drop a variable, it is irreversible. So be careful before you use the drop command. So I'm using the drop command to clean my data. So I press the enter key. Then if I go back to the data set, you'll see that it's all clean now. So all I have is just the three variables I want to use. So let's get started. This is the do file. The first step to creating yearly averages will be to generate a new variable called period equals to year, then order it by country period and year, then sort. So this is the first step. So I'm going to stay within the data editor so that I can show you how the data is changing. I execute the first step and you can see that period is created. So period is equals to year as indicated in the code. The second step now is to replace period with the five year demarcations as I listed here. So I'm going to tell Stata, for instance, to replace period one if the year is greater or equals to 1980, 
and the year is less than 1985. So I want Theta to create a band between 1980 and 1984, which is five years, okay? And the same thing I did up to 2019. If you look at this code clearly, that is exactly what I specified. So execute. So Theta has created each of the periods to match the bands I want. If I want to create six year demarcation, all I need to do is to adjust the code. If I need to create four year demarcations, just adjust the code. If you observe, I did not pick the last code, which says replace period equals nine if year is greater or equals to 2020. And that is because I do not have 2020 in the data. So that is why I am not picking that. Okay. So if you have 2020 in your data and you want to do five year averages and it's starting from 1980, then you can include period nine. Okay. So let's move on to the third one. Now I want Stata to generate the five year averages using the collapse option for the variables. And these are the variables, remember per capita GDP. Gini index and the Palmer ratio. I want Stata to generate the averages for me. So I'm going to execute the collapse mean syntax. And that will include each of the countries identifier because I don't want Stata to drop it. Okay. So I'm going to include the country identifiers and the three variables I need. And I'm also going to invoke the buy option. That is by period, by country, by country code by region and income group. If I don't specify um, the buy option, Stata will execute and every indicator here will be dropped, which you don't want to happen. So make sure you indicate as many of the variables you want in your buy option, okay? So highlights number three, and I'm going to execute. So that is neatly done. So averages have been computed. If I minimize, so these are the averages for all the countries according to what I specified, okay? These are all the averages. Everything looks scattered, so I'm going to just um, reorganize with the following codes. So step four, all I need to do is to recreate the year variable and rearrange the label accordingly, just the way I specified in the code. So I'm going to highlight all this. Make sure you study the code. You are going to have the do file. So study the code very well and execute. So you can see right here now, the year averages, the five year averages have been created. Look at it right here. So Afghanistan, instead of having 39 years observation, is only having eight observations because I've created five years ac across each of the categories, okay? So for period one, we have 1980 to 1984. And for period seven, we have 2010 to 2024. Uh, sorry, we have 2010 to 2014. And period eight, we have 2015 to 2019. So these are five year averages for each of the countries. So if there were missing observations, this will have taken care of it. So the next thing I want to do is just to clean up the data by rearranging the columns. So I'm going to tell Stata to move CID before country, move CC before the region, move region before the period, move income group before the period, okay? Just to clean up the data and make it um, clearer. So execute step five. So you can see now the country IDs are before country, region, income group in that order. So now the data set is cleaner and I have my year averages, my five year averages, okay? You can decide to drop this variable called period, or you can leave it. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't affect anything. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is, okay? So lastly, just to be sure that I got it right, I will just estimate um, this regression. Regressing Gini index on Palmer ratio and per capita GDP while controlling for risk elasticity. Just to be sure that I got the uh, permutations right. That is, I was able to uh, correctly, you know, um, create these five year averages. So let me just execute this code. And here we have the results. So this one shows that the five year averages were correctly done. So if I'm to interpret this result, which is just a bonus, I would all, I can just simply say that um, an increase in the Palmer ratio will aggravate the Gini index. The Palmer ratio here 
shows a positive coefficient. For, G for GDP per capita, an increase in per capita income will reduce the Gini index. So it will make inequality smaller, okay? It will reduce the inequality gap. So that is just by way of a bonus for the interpretation. I also have papers on inequality, as you can see on the screen. I have about eight to nine papers on income inequality. All these papers are hosted on ResearchGate. If you are interested, connect with me on ResearchGate so that you can have access to these articles and you can cite me whenever you write any of your papers, if you wish, okay? If you wish. Thank you so much for listening. So that is how you can compute five-year averages if you want to mitigate a missing values. Don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting videos.